Okay, this video is about the ACF Brill C27. The C27 was very similar to a C31. The C31 had four windows between the doors. The C27 was smaller. It had three windows between the doors. ACF Brill was known for making very durable vehicles, but they were expensive. And they tried to come up uh, with something that was a little lighter weight than their standard C36 or C44, something that would uh, be cheaper for people to, to buy and run. Uh, they made 128 C27s. Uh, interestingly enough, nine of them were bought by the Treasury Department. Now, with a C27, there were several sized motors you could get. There was a 361 with uh, cubic inches with 126 horsepower. That was a standard. If you wanted more power, you get a 401 uh, with 140 horsepower. And if you were someplace real flat, you could get a uh, 269 cubic inches at 101 horsepower. These were red diamond uh, International Harvester motors. In their advertising, they were very uh, uh, interested in uh, strength, so they came up with this integral construction uh, way of building. Uh, they also reinforced everything, uh, step wells, whatever. They uh, were interested in uh, front end visibility uh, for the driver to be able to look out and uh, extra big brakes. I wanted to get a uh, uh, builder's plate from a C27. I checked the record books and uh, two had been bought by Schmoken Treverton uh, Bus Company out near Mark Carmel. I went out there to see them. They were uh, going under at the time. This is an old ACF that was out front, uh, late 30s ACF that they had run. Uh, I bought the builder's plate from this and uh, the two C27s he had had been sold to a man who uh, had them stored in a quarry uh, filled in with rubble and uh, I went over there to see him. I found the buses, uh, but he didn't know how much uh, his father wanted for the emblems, the ceiling labels, and the builder's plates. So he told me to go find him, talk to him. He was a couple of miles away. He and some friends uh, had a <laughs> amateur coal mine. It was in the early 70s, and the uh, uh, oil producing companies of the Middle East. Uh, had gotten mad with the United States and cut off our oil and the price of oil and gas, everything went up high and that made coal a practical substitute and these guys had their own coal mine that they're working on, very small operation. I think that we settled on uh, $5 a bus for everything or $10, I can't remember now. When I got back to him, uh, we couldn't find the builder's plate. Usually they're on the uh, dashboard when you come up the stairs uh, sometimes they're next to the driver's elbow on the wall, the left elbow. But they, they, there was nothing there, so the boy noticed, though, underneath of the seat on the side of the platform, uh, it's about four inches tall, it was screwed onto there. Um, I only have one plate. Uh, it was a number 87. The other one was 0001. Uh, it may have been damaged. It may have been missing. I can't remember why I didn't get it. If you're ever out uh, trying to uh, collect um, emblem, uh, um, builder's plates, uh, remember to look on the side of the driver's seat platform. Uh, and they may be painted over, too, is another thing you'll see. So keep that in mind.